Alright, what's up miners? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to mine um Zen Blocks by Jack Levin. So um it's relatively easy. You only need one thing actually, and that's uh you download Python. Once Python is downloaded and installed, you go over here to well, you come over to the leaderboard, then you download the script from the leaderboard. Once you have the script downloaded, simple, just click the download. Once you have the script downloaded, now you could download multiple copies because um, this is a pro tip. You're gonna wanna run multiple instances since technically like adding more cores isn't gonna make it any faster and Jack just recommends you just running multiple instances. So <clears throat> once we have all our prerequisites, um, Python, the script once we have those then and you already install Python so you won't, you're gonna want to go to the um, I just run it you could do it command line I just run it through the IDE because it's a lot easier and with the IDE you get um, output so you can see if it's not running or if it has any kind of errors in the script or whatever the case may be so now you have ID open up. Technically, you could just open up the file from straight to IDE, but that's fine. We'll just go look at it, look for it in the downloads folder. It's right there. We open it up. So now we want to change our address because that's whoever's address is in there. So that's the first thing we want to change is the address. Crap. So Go grab my address come back here and change it make sure no spaces so boom my address now you can even save it so now my address is saved we don't need this actual one open up and now you just click run now see up here where it tells you um, request modules so to install modules is pretty simple so I already know what modules is probably is gonna ask for so we're just gonna try and install them So yes, that module is already installed. And that's a, the simple command to install any module that it's asking for. So it's probably asking since it says it can't input. Now, this is some troubleshooting. So this is these are the dependencies it's going to call for. That's why you see the inputs. So this the one. All right. Yes, the module I just tried or I tried to install but was already installed. So this is the module that's been giving me a headache like on all of my other PCs. But we're going to try and install that one live. But I don't think is this the I don't think this is the module we need. There's another module. Like there's another module with that same name that I used. I want to say, actually, so let me score C. I can't remember what the hell it named, but it was a. making this where is it there's 
here's another one that I installed. It's not this one, it's another one. But anyway, let's go run and see if it installs. I doubt it, because it's gonna wanna compile. But hey, if it installs and it does it on this machine, let's go, right? See, I already knew that. It's gonna wanna compile. So there's another, there's another, there's another module we can use besides this one. So I don't. So okay, let's just look it up. This is already installed as well. Okay, it wasn't. Was it? Okay, it wasn't. So, now hopefully we can rerun and it'll be using this module. But hey, if it doesn't, we have some more troubleshooting to do. Yeah. So, I'm. Gonna do a test. This is not a how-to. This is like me stumbling along, trying to replicate something I did. Okay, so what we gonna do? So it still says, okay, my bad. <laughs> it's not time, it's request. So I remember, yes, I had to install what? Requests? Okay, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> I just saved, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I saved myself. I hopefully I saved myself. So now it should just run. Like it should just run. Let's let's see. Yeah. Ta-da! And that's it, guys. That is it. That's how you run um Zen blocks. That's how you mine Zen blocks. And you guys watch me stumble through, even trying to get um some of these modules installed. But pretty much that's it. Like I can do a cleaner version where um, if you happen to have any of these um, errors like I did, like it's easy to troubleshoot and install and, and become out successful. So that's it guys. Um, if you find this helpful <laughs> and like, yeah, if you find this helpful, educational, leave a comment. Holla at your boy. We out.